live here in an old garage warehouse of a thousand square feet. You come in here, it stinks. You know, it's business as usual. It's like going to work, you know. It was built for me where I was built for it. Patriot Center, Washington, D.C. I've been Chris's MMA trainer for about two and a half years now. Well, I was always a rugged kid coming up. I grew up overseas because my father was also in the military in Germany. I call him the savage. I asked him why. He said, well, it's the way that I used to dig out my foxholes when I was in the military, 27 years old. This, too, is his pro debut. You're nervous and your hands are sweating, but I like the sport, you know, it's rough. It's more than just, you know, kicking and punching. I like the big slams and stuff, you know, kind of turns me on. I love coaching military people because I know that they're going to listen, they're going to take the time to perfect every little thing that I tell them. Go in there and handle your business and you clock out and then that's it. You know, win or lose, you just give everything you got. He's going to give up his back here. He's going to stretch his opponent out here. Man, he's got Kerwin in all. This should be it. There it is. That's it. Grabbed his bicep, sank the choke, arched his hips, and did a flip. So great. I still had energy enough to do a backflip. So. Tap out by rear naked choke. Your winner, Chris Savage McCray. Now, when he's in here training, he's intense. When, when we're out on town, he's intense. He's a serious person. He knows what he wants to do for a living. He wants to be champ of the world. Everyone has it in them. Everybody has a little savage in them. You just got to go get it out and take care of business. You know? Look for Chris the Savage McCray in the future. He's going to be a big name. He's definitely going to be a champion. You know, there's no doubt about that. And look at here. He's just setting up the choke with punches, trying to find his finish. I mean, this is how you do it at home, kids. Perfect.